Hi all, welcome to How to Electronics. Last week, I received a parcel from Maker Fabs. The parcel contained a customized Fuji modem card SIM 7600. So, in this video, we will take a look at this Fuji LTE modem and perform cellular operations. Earlier, we used 2G GSM module like SIM 800 or SIM 900 and also A9G GSM GPS model from AI Thinker. As we know, the 2G GSM or GPRS is in the stage of closing in most countries like Australia or Canada. But there are indeed some projects that requires GSM wireless communication. Considering the issue, Fuji Internet could be the solution for all these problems. One of the most popular Fuji LTE model is SIM 7600. The SIM 7600 series is the LTE module that supports wireless communication mode of LTE frequency bands. The Madino Zero 4G LTE from Maker Fabs uses the SIMCOM 7600E or A version CAT4 module. This can help to improve the 4G connectivity easily. Besides, this module can be used for your computer or Raspberry Pi for internet connectivity. In this video, we will test all the AT commands related to call, SMS, and HTTP request. So, let's begin. This video is sponsored by Altium. Altium Designer is the world most trusted PCB design system for the last 35 years. Using Altium Designer, you can create a schematic, create PCB, generate garner files and also make a bill of materials. You can create PCB design with an intuitive and powerful interface that connects you to the every aspect of electronics design process. If you want to get started with a free trial, click on the first link in the description. Now let us see SIM 7600 4G LTE modem. So while browsing through the internet, I found so many different versions of SIM 7600 which are manufactured by so many different different companies. But I selected SIM 7600 4G LTE from Maker Fabs. So this is a customized board with Arduino supported microcontroller that cost around $64.8. You can either select uh, your 4G frequency band depending upon your reason. So all the data, description and the purchase link related to this module can be found in the description. This is the board that I got recently from Maker Fabs. So it support LTE frequency band along with the GSM GPRS aged. This means you can use 2G, 3G, 4G and use it at a multi-solution application. So it also had so many interfaces like UART, USB 2.0, SPI, I2C and GPIO. So apart from all this, you can use this as a GNSS module. That is you can track the GPS location and everything can be controlled via AT commands. So it has a uplink up to 50 mbps and downlink up to 150 mbps to learn more about this you can refer to the data sheets of sim 7600 from simcom at the center of the board there is a sim 7600 chip which is the main part of this board so i am using the e version you can select depending upon your reason so this is a 80 samd 32 bit microcontroller from 8 mail so basically it has a support for Arduino and you can install Arduino Zero board to use this Arduino Zero microcontroller. So this is an audio amplifier ICL NAU8810 that is basically a support for the audio. This is a reset button that is used for resetting the microcontroller. There are two type C USB port. One USB port is for assessing the microcontroller and the other USB port is for assessing the LTE functionality with your computer or Raspberry Pi. This is a battery connector so you can connect a 3.7 volt lithium ion battery here and operate this entire module around the battery there is a switch which can be slided to turn on or off the module. And on the opposite side, there you can see SPK. This means it's a portion where you can attach a speaker. This is a 3.5 mm audio jack. So either you can use the audio jack for um, sending your voice command 
or you can use the speaker to listen whatever the incoming sound is okay so here is a antenna connector basically a ufl connector from hydros basically there are two antenna one is the main antenna and no other is the auxiliary antenna and there is also a third antenna <coughs> that is a gps antenna and there is another uh, reset button this is basically used for resetting the module when connected via usb for lte connection at the back side of the module there is an ic this is basically a logic level controller or called as level shifter so this is a sim card slot where you can insert micro sim and we have uh, two sd card slot one is for the sim 7600 and other is for the microcontroller it like Arduino, there are the GPIO pins, that is the input output digital pins, analog pins, uh, I2C pins, and also the power supply pins. So, this will basically require a male or female headers. So, here are the parts that I explained. You can go through this leveling so that it will be easy for you to understand what are these parts. As explained earlier, it requires male headers. So, a male headers on both the left and the right side can be soldered here. So that you can connect any external sensor. And there is also a female headers. This is basically for OLED display. You can connect a 0.96 inch OLED display. This is basically optional. There is no need of this. These are the antennas. Basically, a pair of antenna for this GSM. Both are having the UFL connectors. So the frequency is around 1800 MHz which is the standard frequency of GSM. This is the GPS antenna. So just insert both of this antenna and also connect the GPS antenna. Remember do not connect any antenna when the device is powered on and it may lead to short circuit. So at the back side we need to insert the SIM. So I am staying in Nepal and I am using a 4G SIM from NTC. There is a Nepal telecom. So I will just insert this by simply sliding it. So the SIM has been successfully inserted. Now let us set up the Arduino ID and do the coding part. So this is the basic example code for running the AT command. So we have defined all the pins like DTR pin, RI pin, power pin, reset pin and the flight mode pin. So we will send everything from the string and using the AT commands. Uh, the output from the SIM 7600 can be observed on serial monitor. This code can be found in the link in the description or can be collected from our website articles. Now, what we need to do is we need to install the Arduino Zero board. For that, go to your tools and select board manager. In the board manager section, search Arduino Zero. So you can see the 32 bit ARM Cortex M0 board option here. I have already installed this board. In case if you haven't installed, you can install the board from here. Now connect USB cable to your SIM 7600 board. So a green LED will indicate that the module is turned on. So slide this button and a red LED will indicate everything is on. Wait for a few seconds and you will see a blue LED glowing which, which indicates the SIM 7600 has an access to the cellular network. So the LED has glowed and there is an SS and you can see on the side a green LED is blinking. Now go to the tools and from the tools select the board. So from the ATSAMD board you can select Arduino Zero as native USB port as we will be programming through the USB. Okay after selecting native USB port select the USB COM port. So it will appear as native USB port again. Now click on upload button and open your serial monitor you can send some of the AT command for test which is already mentioned here like ATCGMM so this indicates the module is working fine now let us test by sending some commands for example if you send AT it will return command as OK now type AT plus CGMM this request model identification so you can see the model is SIMCOM now you can send AT plus CGSN. This request product serial number. AT plus CSUB. This requests the model version and chip number. AT plus CPIN question marks. This will request the state of the SIM card. 
So the SIM card is ready now. So similarly, AT plus CICC ID. This will read the CC ID number from SIM card. Now we have AT plus CNUM. This will request the subscriber number. AT plus CNMP question mark. This will give the info of the preferred mode selection. Similarly, AT plus COPS question marks. This will check the current network operator. Now, AT plus IPREX. This will give you the information about the baud rate that is 115200. Similarly, AT plus C reset. This will reset the module and the module restart again. So you can see the module has restarted again with the beginner's AT commands. Now, in order to get the GNSS location, we have to give AT plus CGPS. This will start the GPS session. To get the GPS location, type AT plus CGPS info and send. In my case, I am indoor, so the GPS is not working as uh, it is. it will work when uh, you go outside and check with this command. Let me try again. AT plus CGPS info and hit the send. Okay, again it's not able to get the location. So you may try this command by going outside. So to stop the GPS session, you can type AT plus CGPS equal to zero. Now let us see how we can send and receive the SMS. So for this, uh, type AT plus CSCA equal to double comma and uh, type the service center address. For example, you might be having service center address like Airtel, Vodafone if you are staying in India. So the service center address for all the countries are different. So you can get it from your uh, service provider. So when you enter this and hit the send button, it will return as OK. It means it is working. Now, to select the SMS format, type AT plus CMGF equal to 1. So it will select the message format and you will get as OK. Now, AT plus CMGS equal to the number or the receiver number where you are going to send an SMS. So in case I am trying to send an SMS to India, so I will enter an Indian number. So after sending the above AT command, it will show bracket and then you can send your SMS. When you finish your SMS, you need to send 1A with the hexadecimal for confirming or send 1B with the hexadecimal for cancel. So we recommend you to use other serial monitor like putty. That would be better. This uh, Arduino ID serial monitor isn't good for sending and receiving the SMS commands. Now let us see how we can make a call. So to make a call, switch voice channel device. To do that, type AT plus CSDVC. So this will return uh, OK message. Now type AT plus CSDVC equal to 1. So 1 means headset and 3 is for speaker. AT plus CLVL equal to 2. This will set the loudspeaker volume level to 2. The range is from 0 to 5. Now, to call to any number, type ATD and the contact number. For example, I will type AD, ATD and the contact number of the person whom I am calling. Now, if I want to cancel the call, I will type AT plus CHUP. This will hang the call. Now AT plus CLIP equal to 1. This is for calling line identification presentation. And if you want to answer the incoming call, type ATA. Let us uh, do the HTTP test as well. To do the HTTP test, we have to initialize and start the HTTP command. For that type AT plus HTTP init. So it will has initialized and started the HTTP. Now type AT plus HTTP PARA 
equal to url comma the link address where you are requesting the http request so it will return as okay now type 80 plus http action equal to 0 it will connect the http 0 equal to get 1 is for post and 2 is for head so type 80 plus http head so this will read the response header now 80 plus http read equal to 0 comma 3 this will read the content 3 means the number of the reading data i will make a detailed guide on how you can send the data on the other video now let us see how you can use sim7600 to sub the internet in this case use the second usb port and connect it to your computer after a while a blue led will glow which indicates there is an access to the cellular network now open the device manager of your computer in the device manager when you go to the other devices tag there you will see there are no driver installed so dry, download these drivers from the link in the description and extract all these to your desktop or anywhere in your computer so here are the windows 10 driver for sim7600 now in the device manager click on the device and update the driver so browse to your computer location where the device driver is available in my case it is available on desktop so select the windows folder and click on ok then click on next so the driver will be installed automatically so here you see you can see the driver has been installed now in other cases what you can do is you can uh, follow the similar approach until and unless all the drivers are installed and the while no max disappears so install all the drivers one by one so in my case all the drivers have been successfully installed so here you can see this is a adapter from simtech which is installed now you can click on the network sign so here you will see a option called cellular network has appeared so this is currently turned off to turn it on you can follow the guide in our website so this is how you can sub the internet using the sim7600